Good morning, guys. So I have my coffee. It's actually chilly out here this morning. I got up super early, 4.30, uh, to get ready because one of the things I've not been very good at lately is self-care, so exercise, which is weird because I used to be great at it when I was in my 20s and 30s, even in my 40s. Um, and now I'm in my 50s and I find myself not being so great at it. So um, it does get hot here in Phoenix in May. So I got up at 4.30, got ready, I'm getting this video done, and then my husband and I are gonna take the dogs for a walk while it's a little bit chilly. That's not the thing I wanted to talk with you about today though. The thing I wanted to talk to you about today is free work. Um, and it's really funny because my approach has changed over time to free work. I know there's a lot of different blogs and things that you'll find out about if you start to research being an entrepreneur about doing free work. And I think we just all have to find that comfortable place for us when it makes sense. Um, so for me, the free work I get most often asked for, there's two things. One of them is speaking engagements where people will say, I'd love to have you come as a speaker, but I don't have a budget, but the exposure's great, right? You'll be in front of this audience. Um, we'll talk about that one in a minute. And the second one is mentoring. So because I have the business title, the professional woman's mentor, and my focus is on helping professional women rise in their careers, I get a fair amount of requests for uh, mentor services and sometimes uh, probably about 25% of the time people are looking for something free or something reduced from my one-on-one -on -one packages which are expensive uh, and they're expensive because they're they're me you know I mean I can't scale that it takes a chunk out of the day um, and so that one-on-one -on -one service if you think about any one-on-one -on -one service that you would purchase those are typically expensive packages so what i do when i get a request for one-on-one -on -one mentorship every once in a while i'll i'll offer it and it 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 usually is because there's a specific need and i've learned about that through conversations or emails but typically my typical response to hey i'm really interested in your mentoring services um, you know, but I really don't have the money for it or um, You know, I need something that's cost-effective. There's a couple of things that you can do so create um, What I found has worked for me is creating some kind of tiered service. So I'll typically This will happen through an email or through a form on my website and I'll write back and share hey, you know Here's three different tiers of service. So like there's a free tier you can um, follow me on YouTube you can uh, link in with me on LinkedIn and you'll see the content that I post there um, you can follow my blog so some things like that 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 they can do if they are really interested in getting more from you but they really can't afford it you want to make sure you're saying hey look here's some free ways and then like I said my mentoring packages are the most expensive uh, so that's you know at the other end of tier three but there's a middle place for me, and that is my online masterclass, which is typically $197. And so I'll include that as option too. You know, you can enroll as a student in my masterclass and here's the things that you'll learn there. I do a live Q and A every Friday. And then lastly is, is the mentoring service. Um, sometimes that comes under those, you know, coffees, right? So the reach out to say, hey, can I pick your brain or can I buy you a coffee or can we jump on the call? Um, I'll always get on a 15 minute discovery call, introduce myself, see if someone has a quick question I can answer, and then guide them towards one of those other three options. So um, the way that I like to do that is through an app called Calendly. There's a free version and there's a paid version. I get the paid version because you can then create different blocks of time. On the free version, you only have one. And my blocks of time are 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and one hour. So for those, you know, hey, can I pick your brain or can we meet for coffee? Unless it's someone I know or someone who I've really been interested in collaborating with, um, I won't go meet them in person. I will send them a Calendly link for 15 minutes for us to get to know each other and see how I can help. So that's a couple of ways that I've been approaching that. The other one, this, the free speaking engagements is a little bit trickier. 
um, because you know sometimes as well I'll say always to, to my knowledge as a speaker you got to start somewhere which is probably gonna include speaking for free as you hone your craft and you have more and more value to deliver you really want to weigh that out and I think um, chances are if you're like me that's gonna change for you over time so in the beginning I would do a lot of free engagements I mean I would even apply for conferences to do the free session breakouts and then I thought you know what I've, I've kind of got my speaking chops now I've got a good runway of business that I can point to I've got clients I can point people to I don't want to do that anymore um, well now I kind of do a mix so I very rarely will do a free speaking engagement and when I do it's because I choose to do it I feel compelled to do it when people reach out to me and they want to bring me in I will share with them that if you know we, we start talking talking it through and they say well we really don't have a budget I'll say well I am a paid speaker and this is my fee um, and so that they can either you know find the budget or they'll need to find another speaker to come in but I do strategic free engagement so I'll give you an example about two well no not that long ago probably four weeks ago I started to say two months but four weeks ago um, I reached out to some of my past clients because these are folks who have brought me in for highly paid engagements right so um, either workshops or keynote presentations and I know they're struggling right now because a lot of my clients are in the association space and said hey I know this is a tough time I would love to support you here is a list of four webinars I'd be more than happy to do for you at no charge just to help you connect your audience and I've got three of them booked one of them's today I think we've got 180 people who are gonna attend that webinar and that really is a true free give back um, experience that I'm offering to my clients who have brought me in and you know collaborated with me in the past and I feel good about that like I don't feel taken advantage of I feel really good um, I've done one engagement where I did not feel there's probably a couple but one that I really did not feel good about when I when I did a free engagement was at a beautiful hotel the event organizer did not have the budget to bring me in so I agreed to do it for the exposure and uh, when I got there I realized oh my gosh like this is a big event there are sponsored tables there are probably 400 500 women at this event my event had about well, no, there was more than that. There had to be a thousand because there was three breakout rooms um, for the breakouts that held like over 250 people. So yeah, um, and in my session, my breakout session, there was standing room only. So there's probably 275 people there, and I did it for free. I agreed to do it, so that's on me. But looking back at it, I'm sure there was a budget. Had I said, you know what, I'm a paid speaker, I. I I really can't do free engagements it's a lot of investment of my time and, and here's my price I would love to do your event so please let me know if you find a budget they probably would have found the budget so that one I didn't feel so good about but it's a learning journey right so when it comes to free engagements figure out what really works for you and where you want to give your time that feels really good when you decide to give someone the value that you're gonna deliver for free Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I'm heading out before the sun gets up and gets hot to do my self-care because darn it, I'm worth it. <laughs> you guys have a good day.